rank arrogance, stupidity, gross falsehood, blasphemy? And where are the charismatics who do believe the truth about Jesus Christ in calling these people out and shutting down their influence? Only the spirit of Antichrist would inspire that kind of blatantly unbiblical teaching. You can go beyond silly things about Christ and heresies about Christ to misrepresentations of the gospel, and this gets, this gets pretty extensive. We know why the Holy Spirit came, to convict the world of sin and righteousness and judgment, that they might believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He came to bear witness to the historical truth of the gospel, as Acts 5 says. He came to... Uh, to empower those who preach its saving message, 1 Peter 1.12. We know the work of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is faithful to the gospel. The Holy Spirit would never misrepresent the gospel. So wherever the devaluing of the gospel truth is uh, visible, we know that's not the work of the Holy Spirit. And let me be very blunt, any movement that can fully embrace Roman Catholicism is not a movement authored by the Holy Spirit, because that's a false gospel. Why do they do that? Because it's based upon a common false experience. Sound doctrine is subjugated to spiritual experience, false spiritual experience. False forms of the gospel are happily embraced. The Catholic Charismatic Renewal began in 1967 when a group of students received, quote, the baptism and spoke gibberish, non-language. The movement was officially recognized by Pope John Paul II. Why? Because the Catholics always absorb, that's how the system grows. You've heard the Pope recently, hey, welcome everybody back to the church. Homosexuals, that's fine. Atheists, you're going to heaven too if you do your best. That's Roman Catholicism. Absorb the heretics, absorb the dissidents, absorb the people who are on the outside build the system. Why? Because that system has one king, and it's the king of darkness. By uh, the year 2000, this is the year 2000, there were 120 million Catholic charismatics. There are well over 500 million charismatics, so one out of every five is Roman Catholic globally. Catholic charismatics hold a Catholic theology, Catholic doctrine, and they deny that a believer is justified by faith alone, right? It's by what? Works. They believe in the ex opere operato efficacy of the seven Roman sacraments. They are up to their eyeballs in the idolatry of the Catholic Mass, that horrendous attempt to re-sacrifice Christ. They, in an idolatrous way, venerate Mary and the saints. They have been fully embraced by Protestant Pentecostals. Why would anyone do that, make a concession to Catholicism? It's just become part of the contemporary fabric of evangelicalism. Here's a report, 10,000 Charismatics and Pentecostals prayed, sang, danced, clapped, cheered under the common bond of the Holy Spirit during a four-day ecumenical convention last summer. About half the participants at the Congress on the Holy Spirit and world evangelization were Catholics. The Holy Spirit wants to break down walls between Catholics and Protestants, said Vincent Sinan, the theological dean of Pat Robertson's Regent University who chaired the Congress. If this movement can embrace Catholicism, it's not a movement of the Holy Spirit. Roman Catholic theology is corrupt. It has a false gospel. The Spirit behind the Catholic charismatic renewal is not the Holy Spirit. Not just them. 